Hey guys, uh, just wanted to do a quick video. Um, been contemplating on organizing some of my uh, digital media for some time and just been lazy trying to get some time together. Uh, but recently bought a Pi 4 uh, model 4B with uh, 4 gigs RAM. Got that and set that up uh, with Raspbian. Um, and wanted to, you know, I've been reading up on um, Open Media Vault and a couple other solutions. I didn't want to go really that crazy. Just wanted some very simplified configuration um, to manage all the media. So, uh, got the Pi. Um, here it is set up. Um, small little board. Hooked it up to my uh, router. Got a USB key plugged into the USB 3 um, port. Got my mouse keyboard. HDMI out and power. Uh, so it's pretty simple uh, setup here. Um, yeah, my old iMac, good old days. Um, so here, what I did was once got Raspbian set up, it's pretty straightforward. Run a quick uh, update, upgrade, install uh, the mini DLNA. Uh, it's basically uh, two different components here. Uh, behind the scenes. Um, one is DLNA, uh, which is the Digital Living Network Alliance and UPnP, Universal Plug and Play Protocol. Basically what, what it's doing is uh, you're basically Pi being a DLNA server, which hosts all my media and it's available on my network. I can watch whatever media, mu music, uh, videos that I have stored. Uh, I can watch them in my TV, my smart TV, on my iPad, Android tablet, on my phone, however, wherever I want in the house, easily accessible. Uh, so pretty simple setup here. Um, you know, once you have your Raspbian running, run the update upgrade commands and you're installing um, mini DLNA um, packet. Once that's um, set up, run the command to edit the mini DLNA config file. And there are four things basically that you're modifying. Uh, look for the media underscore DIR equals A for your audio pictures and V for video. And then you're giving it a name. Um, so that way, when you go to your smart TV, um, you basically know what you're looking at. And I'll show you what that, how that looks like a little bit later. Once that's done, restart the service uh, and you're pretty much done um, you know right now that USB disk is mounted here um, also you know there's you could also look up uh, if you this Raspbian also loads mounts the drive for you automatically um, so you don't really have to worry about it um, you can make a force mount at boot up if you want to um, that you can look up at another source if you choose to. But again, this is pretty simple. You know, these are the very basic commands that you run to get that to set up. Once it's set up, I'll show you what that looks like um, on a smart TV. So here on the Samsung smart TV, you could do this on LG TV or whatever smart TV has, as long as that support for DLNA and UPnP. Uh, so once you go into your TV apps, um, you should have an option here for your media player. Um, so let's go in the menu, multimedia. And you see that here, it picked up already from the network. Raspbian. And you can just browse into your pictures, music, video, folders. Um, and there you go, all the files are there. Enjoy.